What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. Now you might have kind of recognized this guy right here, it looks very similar to one that I um, showcased in a different episode. This is the Symbiote Carrier, which is in the same vein as the Symbiote ship that we looked at before, only this is a bigger, more like Leviathan, I think it's described as in the... Um, in the description, and it's designed, as the name implies, a carrier. As you can kind of see in here, and we'll look at it a little closer in a minute, there's actually little fighters, little symbiote fighters. Um, I really actually enjoy this whole theme of these builds. I think these are really cool. Um, it's something different. It reminds me of the No Man's Sky symbiote ships they announced and stuff, that they're like a living ship, and it... it it honestly gives a bit more versatility or uniqueness to the aesthetics, that it's not just a ship, it's actually like an alien ship type of thing. Um, so I've actually really enjoyed these builds um, in, in this theme of design, I think it's really cool. Um, now grant you, being that it's supposed to be an alien, uh, they're not quite as thorough with stuff like an interior, because you'd basically be walking through the guts of an alien, which probably hard to build in blocks, also probably not all that appealing. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, also, being that they're symbiotes and aliens and all that, it doesn't necessarily do a lot of favors for those of us that are how should I put, um, door challenged, uh, because those of us that are, that, that suffer from door losslessness, I guess, I don't know what kind of medical term you would give that, I was trying to be clever, I don't know what kind of medical term you dream up for that, um, but, uh, doorlessness, I guess, <laughs> or, um, Door blindness. I'm gonna call it, that's what it is, you know, like snow blindness. Yeah, door blindness. That's that's what it is. If you have door blindness, <laughs> um, you know, they can be a little trickier to find given that you're already having trouble finding doors with regular ships and now you get this more unorthodox alien looking kind of ship and it makes things a little bit more difficult for those of us that suffer from that condition and um, it's a very real thing I feel like we need to wear raise awareness for it and no I am not just stalling until I find it um, it's a real issue that a lot of us space engineers face um, and uh, so yeah it's a thing nope not there <laughs> so yeah I'm going to um, be looking for this for a minute, so I'm, I'm gonna go, um, research that illness a little bit more, and when I come back with a solution, um, I, I will let you know. But in the meantime, I feel like we should take a better look at the exterior, um, because there's a lot of little things that you might miss if you were not... Uh, door challenged because you know you would just fly in find the door and just jump in and you wouldn't take the time to look through all of this stuff and whatnot it is actually really cool but at this point it is getting to where I'm, I'm definitely stalling so I'm gonna pause it just for a second and see if I can find the door and then uh, we'll be back and actually give this ship a test run or this creature rather I found it um, for those of you that are like me, that suffer from doorlessness, um, uh, <laughs> uh, it's actually a little bit higher. It's, it's, um, it's right up through here, and then down there, and I'm stuck. That's a whole different illness, getting, getting stuck in the ship. Um, so yeah, we've got an airtight hangar door here, actually a double layer. Oh, this one actually has multiple seats, or is that... So, okay, that's actually really cool, because I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that each one of these controls a different fighter, maybe? I'm not really sure, because this looks like the main one, so that must be a fighter control. Ooh. 
So they're piloted remotely? Is that what it is? That'd be kind of cool. Alright. Actually, I haven't used this cockpit before. It's the industrial one, I believe. Okay, so we're looking at hangar doors, turrets, hangar door override, connector carrier. I wonder what that's... It's just one. Curious what that is. Jump drive, and then everything else is probably more... Um, more isolated to the fighters. Now, before we actually um, play around with the fighters, I do want to test the controls for the actual carrier. Um, so it accelerates relatively slowly, and it does have a slow turn, as you might expect for a carrier. Um, it's not going to turn on a dime kind of thing. And I don't know, but it looks like the uh, little arms out here are actually loose, which is really cool because they just kind of flop around in the in the wind as you move around, which is a really neat effect. I like that. Okay, so let's try the hangar doors. We'll activate the sequence. Now it is one of those where, because it's a timer block sequence, you if it doesn't work for a second, you probably shouldn't spam it. I believe that's listed in the description somewhere. Wasn't me, I didn't do it. I'm hearing clanging. Okay, so that opens that. Now, what I don't know is this connector thing. I don't know if that's going to drop all of them or not. So what I'm going to do instead is get out of the main seat and try one of these. And what I'm curious about... It says this is not the main. This doesn't have any controls to it. So I was curious if maybe it was for controlling the fighters and that's the proper way to undock them, but I guess we'll just click the connector? But I'm not sure how that works, because it almost looks like there's just one button. Alright, we're gonna try it. So I hit the unlock. Didn't seem to do anything, though. What is this? It says it's the switch lock. Oh, it says it's unlocked already. Okay, so that must be the docking for the actual carrier itself. Right there, I'm thinking, on the bottom. It's hard to see there from this view, but I think that's the the docking point. Okay, so how do we get the fighters disconnected? Or maybe you don't from here. Maybe you actually have to pilot them. So let's check that. I was thinking they would be remote um, beings, that, but then again, it is symbiote, so it probably needs a pilot, just like the, the carrier and everything. So... Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so... These should be much less difficult with doors if there's any kind of cockpit to them. Um, Alright, I see... Oh! Okay, no, there is a connector. Alright. Interesting. I don't see enough space for a cockpit. So I'm thinking they have to be piloted remotely, would be my guess. So we're going to head back over here, and what I'm going to do is look and see if there's actually um, a control in the cockpit that's not on the hotbar, is kind of what I'm thinking is going on. Um, unless I just missed a menu somewhere, but I don't think I did. Okay, so, yeah, so there's a bunch of connectors. I'm just going to grab one of them because I don't really know which ones are which. So, um, also, let's check for a remote block. And this was connector 2. Uh, none of these are named. So, maybe we'll just grab one and see if we can dock from that. So, if we're taking control of one of the symbiotes or the things so we've got gatling guns rocket launchers there's the switch lock i actually managed to grab the right one it was connector two that's crazy all right camera thrusters retract legs lock legs okay so for now let's let's lock the legs just so they don't flop around we'll turn our thrusters on and let's unlock. 
and I'm getting a little bit of latency, like it lags a little bit, so I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wait, what just happened? Crap. Okay. That one just went dark. That's not good. Um, I thought I could use that remotely. I'm not real good with remote blocks, uh, I, in case that wasn't obvious. But, um... That's really weird, because I thought I could control it through the remote block, and then when I detached from the connector, I lost all control of it, so I'm not really sure how that works. But, I blame that on me, not... Uh, not the not the ship because I don't fool around with remote blocks very much. Let me see if I can tinker with this for a minute. If not, we'll just move on. Okay, so I finally figured out the problem. The problem was that the antennas on the uh, drones were not on, um, and so as soon as I disconnected them from the connectors, there was no signal going out from them to be able to receive a signal. So as you can see, we're controlling this little guy in front of us, um, which our legs are flopping around. Now, I don't know what retract legs does, so we're going to try that. Oh, okay, it kind of pulls them up into almost like a fighter kind of look to it, and then we can lock them, and then that way we can move around freely without too much issue. We have a camera block so that we can control it um, more accurately from a cockpit point of view. And then we've got our Gatlin guns and our missiles and stuff, which is really cool. I like it. It's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, again, that was kind of more of a my bad type of thing. I wasn't thinking about the antennas. And the connector 2 thing was not actually the right connector. It was just that all of these have uh, the name of connector 2 on the fighters, not the uh, not the same connector on the ship. So with that, um, we're going to move on from this one and let's look at the next one. Alrighty, so next up we have the Silver Phantom. Now this is actually a really cool looking ship. Um, I honestly picked this one exclusively from the exterior look. Um, I didn't even really look at the interior or anything like that, but I'm, I really like the look of this ship. Um, so it's a multi-purpose shuttle, although I am inclined to agree with a couple of the comments on the description that say, that's a pretty big shuttle. Um, but I mean, if you're a passenger transporter or something like that, it, it you know, there, there could be relatively larger shovel, shuttles, even look at our own NASA type shuttles and they're not small. It's not like a little fighter. Um, but one of the things that impresses me the most about this, and I've said this before on ships that use this style is this is a vanilla build with the exception of, I think it had one of the Pay no, it doesn't even have the paid DLC in it. So, um, this is completely vanilla, and the design shapes are crazy to me. You've got this almost like, um, Star Wars... What am I thinking of? It's the, um, cl the, the clone cruisers, I think, that had something similar to this, where you got these angled armor plates on the side. But just all of this detail work is crazy. All these little, um, shapes using the blast door blocks to give it little grooves and depth. Then you got angled plates here on top of angle plates. And I've got to learn how to do these. I know they use rotors or something to get the angle and stuff, but this is crazy to me because it adds so much more possibilities for the different styles and shapes you can make of the ships. It's not just like a, um, a square or even slope blocks. It's like these are at their own angle kind of thing, sitting on top of stuff. It's really nuts. I love it. Now, the description did say it was built in a modular fashion. I'm not entirely sure um, exactly what all that entails, but I could understand if maybe these plates were built and then you're using, like, connectors or um, rotor heads or something to attach them, that maybe that's what they're talking about. If you build one of the side plate wings first, and then attach it to the ship and stuff. Either way, I mean, that makes sense for a ship like this to be built in that way, but still, it's just really cool. I really love the exterior of this. Um, plus, it has a really cool silhouette profile, too, that if you if you pan way back, it just looks really cool. I mean, this looks like a legit 
sci-fi ship you could see in a movie or a show or something like that. It looks really nice. Um, now again, I don't think this one will be as bad, but I am kind of referring back to... Oh, no, my 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 uh, door lo doorlessness has not kicked in today. It, it doesn't seem on this particular one. Um, I'm going to turn my headlamps off for a minute just so we can kind of get a feel for the mood of the ship. Um, that's interesting. So there's a vent down there, but they're using passageways and stuff to kind of keep it off to the side type of thing. It's an interesting technique. So we've got a, a glass, a really cool glass bridge. Oh, I like this. This is cool. So they used a slope and then some glass pieces to kind of make a hanging suspended uh, way to hold on to um, a seat. Now that would actually be pretty cool um, on some kind of block that rotated, uh, kind of similar to the the gun turrets on a Millennium Falcon kind of thing where you can spin around. That would be a cool little trick to use for something like that, just kind of as a, uh, you know, just, just throwing that out there in case anybody thinks of it or wants to use it. Um, so this is a cool kind of co-pilot setup as well. You've got this kind of tanky, almost mech-looking cockpit, and then the passenger seats on the side. Really nice touch. I really like pretty much everything I'm seeing about this whole build. Uh, this is really, really cool looking. I like it a lot. Uh, what do we got here? Um, the only thing is, based on the description, there wasn't a whole lot, but I did see some... I don't know if it was uh, Chinese, Japanese, etc. Some kind of Asian character, so I'm not entirely sure how some of this is going to be laid out. Although this looks to be regular indoor LCD. Oh, that's fairly self-explanatory. Um, yeah, I really like this, though. This is really, really cool. Even just the little things, like using small grid glass, now that we have that in the vanilla game... Um, to have floating LCD screens so that they're not taking up um, different... It looks more like they're just kind of floating there or there's not a bunch of blocks blocking the view of the glass bridge and stuff like that. This is just really, really, really cool. I'm in love with the ship design at the moment. Um, Alright, so that was that way. I'm assuming this is going to mirror that, so let's go down this way. Um, very interesting use of space here, that rather than having just blocks uh, make up like a, a hallway or something, it actually functions as the place for all the gyroscopes and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I do feel like, yeah, I'm getting a sim speed hit for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Um, because I was noticing even with my cap locks off, I was actually moving kind of slow. But I don't have any frame rate going on, or stutters, or anything like that. Uh, looks like a reactor room access. This is kind of an interesting idea as well. There's a lot in this ship that's really unique. I kind of like it. Um, but you've got access here in case, you know, you need to load um, any kind of uranium or anything. But then there's an, a reverse button panel here. Doesn't have anything on it, it doesn't look like. But it would still be kind of useful to not have to, like look down, then look up, or something that's all kind of right here. Nice little trick. Uh, looks like a gravity generator there. So let's see what goes this way. This is another one of those... Uh, what the heck is this? Steel catwalk, but where's this bar coming from? What is that? Conveyor catwalk plate. Okay. Oh, there must be something behind that. Yeah, it looks like a door. Okay, so that's what's... I was like, what is that? Um, that's another thing I'm going to give this ship, though, is it it's a lot larger than you'd expect. Like, from the outside, it looks like a medium Corvette-sized shuttle or something, but I'm kind of understanding why people said this is a big shuttle, is because um, even when you consider it to something like the NASA ships, it looks about like a NASA ship on the outside, but inside, darn, this thing has a lot of... Um, space and stuff. Like, there's a lot of functionality going on inside the ship as well. 
And it's not all super cramped or anything either. Like you've got this big hallway that's like a looks like a hangar, you know. And uh, so it's like that's a lot of room. I'm guessing this is for like rovers, since the connection port's down there. Um, but I guess if you had small flying fighters or something with a side port, you could fly in and dock them right there too. Um, medical bay with batteries on the back. I also have to say that I like the layout of the ship. And what I mean by that is if this is actually an exterior hangar like I think it is, which it probably is hangar door. Sometimes it's hard to tell because people use hangar doors for a lot of different things. But yeah, this definitely looks like a hangar. I'm going to go with a fighter hangar just because I don't see any kind of extendable ramps or anything like that to bring a rover on board. But still, I like the idea that um, if you were to fly through here, if you were to fly through here and um, and dock your ship or something, uh, that there's a med bay right there in case of an emergency or something like that. I think that's really smart. Now, is this a front hangar or is this an airlock? Oh, this is kind of a front hangar. Now, this... And no, there's still no real extension area, so I'm guessing it's designed for fighters. It makes sense, because now that I think about it, I believe the description mentions something about it can't fly in atmospheres. Um, it was fairly... The description was fairly light. There was only a few lines, but it basically said it was a multi-purpose shuttle, couldn't function in atmosphere, or couldn't fly, I think was the exact term, etc. and so on. So... If it can't fly in an atmosphere, how are you going to pick up a rover kind of thing? So that all makes sense. Um, did, we, did we check back here? Yeah, we did. That's more cryo. So yeah, I'm re I really like this ship. Um, it's very functional. Uh, did we go... This is where we came from, right? Okay, so we didn't go that way and we didn't go downstairs. The downstairs is probably going to be... Oh yes, we did. That's the control for the hangar. Uh, and then we got a jump drive area. Ooh, with like a battle bridge. Okay, that's kind of cool. Or an observation. I'm going to go with observation. Mainly because of all the passenger seats. If this was a battle bridge, then I would think there wouldn't be so many passengers. But if you were giving a tour or something, lots of glass, lots of view, uh, a lot of seats and stuff. So it makes sense. Again, multi-purpose shuttle has to be able to do a lot of different things. So defend itself, but also um, fly around. Now, this is interesting because those don't look finished. So I'm trying to figure out what purpose that would be. Really cool window, though. Really cool view. I like that. Not really sure what these would serve. I don't recall... Um, I don't recall the description saying this was still work in progress or anything, so I think this is by design. I'm just not sure what purpose it serves exactly. Other than maybe not completing it so that it doesn't screw up what cockpits are controlling. I don't know. I, I, I don't really know what purpose would that would serve, other than just aesthetics for looks, so that it looks like you have more or a different style. I, I, I really don't know. I'm not sure what the point of leaving them unfinished would be. Um, but like I said, I don't think it was listed as work in progress, so that's probably intentional. I'm just not sure what the intent is. Uh, and then it looks like we have another observation area, which is cool. You guys know me. I like a lot of glass and observation areas, unless it's like, you know, a, a battleship kind of thing. Then you want more armor plating or something, but I still like a lot of glass in, in view areas. I, 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 do, I just think it's cool. Um, I like the idea of not having to deal with the outside, but being able to see it. Kind of like, um, like uh, I mentioned before, I always loved that Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea thing with the submarine that had a glass uh, bridge so that you could see the cool underwater creatures and stuff, but you're perfectly content with being able to breathe, you know. Um, I'm guessing this is the same, uh, another passenger, either cockpit thing or observing area, because if it's primarily a sh shut <coughs> excuse me, it's primarily a shuttle. I don't know why, I got a frog in my throat real quick. Anyway, <clears throat> if it's primarily a shuttle, not a sh 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 shuttle, but a shuttle, 
um, then it makes sense to have like tour guide areas because you'll probably be transporting passengers kind of thing. Um, so that's that down there. Let's lastly go up back up to the bridge and give it a give it a go with the controls and see how it handles. Um, if it handles halfway as decent as how it's designed, I'm pretty sure this will be a, a new favorite of design of mine. Alright, so we do have some stationary rocket launchers, indoor lighting, LCD controls, outdoor lighting, hangar door back and front. Um, I do see some missile turrets. I'm also looking for some chain gun turrets. We have quite a few thrusters, so it should move pretty well. I don't see any Gatling turrets, but that's... I could be missing them, I suppose, or they're hidden or something, but I don't know if it, the hiding from terminal hides them from the G screen. Oh, look at that! It's even got the running lights on the left and right. That's cool. Um, Alright, so acceleration's pretty good. It's a little bit sluggish on acceleration, but again, it's a shuttle. It's not really necessarily designed to be a fighter, so makes sense. Um, it handles actually pretty well though. So the acceleration is a little on the slower side. You're not going to go from 0 to 60 in, you know, 2.5 seconds or anything, but it actually turns fairly responsively. So um, not quite as good as like a fighter, but more akin to a Corvette or something of that nature. So uh, that's really cool. I really do love that thruster on the back though, especially since it's vanilla. I did not think that was going to be a vanilla thruster on the back. It looks really cool. Um, there's a lot of like that, not necessarily even greeble, but kind of like the... Um, support beam kind of looks to it and it's actually cool because I'm seeing ion thrusters in there too so they actually used it as a way to hide more uh, forward thrusters which is cool I really like that design anyway I think that's about gonna do it for this one so let's move on to the last one and speaking of new favorite ships we have the RLS Legacy which according to the title, is from Treasure Planet. Again, some of you may have heard from a couple episodes ago. I can't say I've actually seen the movie. Um, so, yeah, I'm going off just what I'm told. Now, the interesting part is I'm not told much. The description has absolutely nothing in it. It is labeled in the title as an early access, which I found kind of comical, to be honest. A work in progress to understand early access was kind of like, hmm, that's an interesting choice of words I suppose but for a for a ship build but anyway that aside it doesn't look very early access to me it looks freaking awesome um, now again some of you who have seen the movie will have to kind of decide on the closeness of how well it came out to the accuracy of the source material I cannot I'm just looking at a really really cool looking sailing ship in a space game where you can fly a space sailing ship, which is really cool. So, I tried to build one of these a few years back. Didn't go so well, in my opinion. So, yeah, when I see somebody actually doing something well, I'm kind of like, kudos. I've tried that. It's not as easy as it looks. Um, and actually, it doesn't even look that easy. Look at all the sail work. This is nuts. And it looks like... Oh, wow, it's all catwalks. I didn't even notice that at first. That's probably smart, especially if you're going to do... Um, do try and build it in like a survival or a multiplayer to do something a little cheaper than like um, all you know heavy armor blocks or something like that but it's a combination of rotors which is crazy I wonder how long it took them to figure out how the where the angle had to be to get the sail work right the other thing that makes me wonder oh <gasps> you can't collapse these sails can you you probably could actually at least down to a what five five block wide thing because you'd have to have these the rotors the block in the middle the rotors and the catwalk so like a five block stretch <gasps> oh that would be cool i don't know if that's i don't know if that functionality is built into it or not but if not maybe when it's fully finished or something that would be something that would be awesome to actually have collapsible sails it does look like it's built with that functionality in mind even if it wasn't on purpose which would be even cooler if it wasn't on purpose. Um, 
but yeah, and it, once again we get this cool, these cool angle blocks kind of set up that I people that do this is just it's crazy to me how they manipulate the rotors in a way that gives them the right angle that they're looking for so that they're not locked into a grid. That's above my building skill at the moment. I have no trouble admitting that. Um, but it always looks really cool when someone pulls it off and it works well like this. And I have to admit, the new uh, woodblock textures is a really cool thing. Now, one thing I do want to point out, it did give me a warning when I tried to paste the ship in. Look at these turrets! They're cannons! Oh, that's so cool! I'm not really sure why they're not locked unless that's not supposed to be locked or that's like a reload function or something, but that is so cool! I... yeah! These are some... these are some cannons that every ship needs. I mean, realistically, it's honestly just a missile, a rocket launcher. So in terms of damage, could you do a lot more by having different turrets? Sure, but are they gonna look that cool when you're blowing up other ships? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, the wood block that got added in... or the wood texture, rather, wood skin, is a really nice touch if you were gonna do something like this, where you're gonna build a sailing ship or something. Um, I like the the added ability to make something like a wood, uh, a wood deck or something like that. It's really cool. Um, now the other thing is the interior actually looked really awesome in the screenshots, so I have to find my way inside. Now the other thing I think is kind of awesome in a hilarious way is from the from the exterior, obviously it's like, you know, it looks like a regular ship, but in real life, a ship like this, you'd have like a helmsman and a couple people up on the top part, and then you'd have a couple, uh, like a bunch of people down here, and then you'd have like a cabin for the crew, or for the captain back here, like, it's, they were, they were big ships, but they didn't have a ton of room, and so I think it's funny that it's like this is built to scale almost, but then you have like this one little block where like the person's gonna sit and it's like that's probably more accurate to how the wheel of the helm would look for a size of a ship like this. But that would also mean like a person can stand here. So it's like this, the ship was built for giants and it was retrofitted for little people. So it just kind of looks funny, but that's, that's gonna happen if you try and build something like a sailing ship with the accurate scale and everything, but then build it in Space Engineer's standards for, you know, a block can control a ship, you don't need a big wheel. So I just think that's kind of funny, because there's no real good way around that, that's not a, a commentary on the, the builder making an error or anything like that, it's just a, uh, it's a, it's a comical coincidence, I think, for, uh, for how it ends up being, unless I'm very off base with the scale of the ship from the original movie. And in that case, then, well, that's a completely different story, but, um, it's like this. Traditionally, a crow's nest was very small, and you had, like, a person that could fit up there, and that's like, you know, you could have a party up there. Actually, that would be a cool place to have a party, actually. That would be really awesome. Anyway, just a little ramble, I suppose, on, uh, the scale of the game, but uh, again, not harping on the builder at all, because it actually is amazing. I've even tried to build sailing ships before, and mine always come out super blocky and not nearly this cool. So, uh, but we got a cool, looks like a captain's cabin here, or possibly uh, maybe a... No, it's kind of a captain's cabin. Okay. I was going to say this might be a battle bridge, but again, big, huge table, one little seat. So it's just building to scale, I think. Oh, cool. Spinny things. <laughs> uh, sometimes I really do have the, the squirrel kind of attitude about things. It's like, I see something spinning. That automatically equals cool. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a globe. Pretty cool, actually. Or maybe like a holographic planet projector thing. I don't know what it was supposed to be in the movie. But uh, that's pretty cool, though. I like it. Now, I'm assuming there's a crew quarters, like down here. Because there usually is below deck. Um, I'm not sure how much of an interior there is. We're going to have to see. Because theoretically, it should have like downstairs and then go that way and be the under, under the deck part. Um... 
but again, some of this... Oh, yeah, it does go below deck. Okay. I was going to say, some of this, I don't know how it ties into the movie, so some of it may not be accurate to normal sailing ships because they did something different in the movie, and in which case, if I say something incorrect, just ignore me. Um, usually a good philosophy anyway, but... Actually, it's usually a good philosophy with most things, honestly. But anyway, moving on. Uh, cargo access here, it looks like a commons type area, maybe, or a war room type thing here. Uh, what could have doubled as a CIC, I suppose, back in the day. Um, on like an old ship. This looks like the main mast going up. And this is just kind of the below deck area where normally, again, you'd have like cargo or something. Um, is this an area or is this just empty building? I think this is just empty building. Again, it is labeled as an early access thing, so those may not have supposedly... Or those that hallway type crevice area may not uh, have been supposed to be accessible. That was a very long way of saying you probably shouldn't be able to get there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Alright, so this looks like... Now, these are modules, but it doesn't look like there's assemblers or anything behind that, so it looks like they're for show. Uh, this looks like it's going to be the hydrogen tanks for the thrusters, maybe? Mayhaps? So this is probably going to be the air quote engineering room, I imagine getting a little turned around on which stairway hallway I came from. I really like all the wood texture, to be honest. I think it's really cool. Um, I've been waiting for somebody to really make, like, uh, a wooden ship kind of thing out of it, so kudos there. Oh, this is the reactors. Okay, so this also is kind of a pseudo-engineering room. Then we go further down. Man, there's a lot of decks. And what is this supposed to be here? Rotor 5 open reverse, timer block open trigger. Okay. Not sure... Okay, there it is. I was going to say, I'm not sure if this is for opening... I really wonder if there's any kind of sail controls. This is a cool access hatch, though. i got to try this. So... We have rotor open, reverse, trigger now. Is there a close or is it a toggle? Let's just hit one of them and see what happens. Hope I don't blow anything up. Uh, let's try the timer block burst. Okay. So I wonder what the, oh, is the reverse so that if you hit the timer block again, it closes the thing maybe? Oh, it's like a lever! Ah! That's cool. You pulled the lever. Oh, and then you can reverse it and it'll close it. That's pretty awesome. Nope. What is it doing? Resetting the timer? Rotor reverse. Oh, maybe it's the lever. Reversing it. So it's like a... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So then that's going to close the hangar door, and then this is going to reverse the lever. That's pretty cool! It's literally like pulling a lever. That's awesome! And then you've got landing gears here to hold whatever ship or... I guess it could be an emergency, like, dinghy or something. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Um, and then we've got cargo containers down here, which is really cool. And... Ladder, I'm assuming that goes up here. Okay, so last step is to pilot the thing and see how it uh, actually handles. And I'm thinking we're going to have to go back out. Oh, I missed this. Okay. So there was an area that I forgot. This looks kind of like the mess hall. Um, not sure what this is supposed to be. Might be a movie related thing. Not sure. Uh, then we have a jump drive down there. That's pretty cool. I missed the jump drive down there. And then where's this go? Oh, this actually comes out to the, the deck. Okay, so there is like a below deck hatch. Cool. All right, so let's find... What is this button? I just realized there's a button on this. Gravity generator. Oh! Well, that's cool. 
I'm not really noticing a difference in the gravity, but it's a cool... It's a cool little function. Also, I did want to point out that this is technically not uh, a modded ship. It is technically vanilla with some of the DLC, I believe. Um, but there is a mod, or three mods listed on the blueprint file, which is a skybox to have it be more, um, I think, movie appropriate or something to the original thing, I think. Uh, there's a sound file pack, which is supposed to be more um, of the sound effects from the movie, I believe. And then there's a script to control the turrets. Now, I already had the script subscribed, so I didn't think I needed that, and the other ones were just cosmetic, so I didn't use them. Um, so we've got solar sail, hangar ramp, gravity, and that looks to be about it. So we, we already messed with the ramp. Let's check the sails, because I think that's is they do expand oh okay so they actually expand they were folded up oh i thought they were just laid out differently but they actually do extend outward or is that are they folding up i'm confused they are folding up that's awesome that is so freaking cool so they actually have working sails that automatically makes this one of the coolest ship builds I've ever seen in this game. I mean, by, like, colonial ship type things. Actually, just in general, to be honest. But that's freaking awesome that they actually have extendable and retractable sails. Alright, so at the risk of damaging this, I hope it doesn't, but I don't really see a rotor lock control anywhere, so I'm guessing you can pilot them while it's moving. I hope, but we're going to try and give this a go without damaging the ship. Um, so if we accelerate... Okay, so because this is still a work in progress, there's one thing I want to check, and that is, is this a station? Okay, so it is a station at the moment. So I'm not going to convert it because it means there's probably not enough... Um, thrusters and things I'm imagining because it's not probably fully completed it's probably mostly the outer shell um, so because of that ah, you know what we'll try it but just bear with me and and understand that if it breaks or something it's totally expectable because it's not completely finished so if we accelerate it actually moves pretty good but as you can see if I let off it's not really decelerating which means we don't have reverse thrusters. So the thruster setup is probably not finished. I don't think there's any gyroscopes because I can't turn the ship. So overall, um, it's, you know, I can't really, can't really assess the mobility of it or anything like that, but for what it is as at the moment, it's freaking amazing and I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. So, um, yeah, this will definitely probably end up, definitely probably, yeah end up back on the uh, series later when it's fully completed but for now still really really cool and i hope you guys got a lot of ideas from it because there's a lot to be had from this ship i didn't really even look at the bottom or anything but uh with that we're gonna wrap things up here for today i hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and i will see you all next time peace